In this SkyCAD tutorial, you're going to learn about terminal strip layouts, such as these. If you haven't done so already, we recommend watching the Introduction to Terminals tutorial. To insert a terminal strip layout onto the schematics, go to the Terminal Strip List view, select the terminal strip, go to the Terminal Strip Tools tab, select Layout Terminal Strip, choose the sheet you want, and drop it onto the sheet. The interior side of the terminal strip layout shows what the terminals are connected to inside the panel. The exterior side shows what the terminals are connected to outside the panel. Terminal numbers are shown, as well as Y numbers. This column indicates fuse terminals or terminals that have been bridged. Please note that fuse terminals need to have a fuse in it for an F to be displayed in this column. If you see some information in brackets, such as this, it represents that clarification is required if you wish to have a fully detailed terminal strip layout. Basically, you need to specify exactly how the terminals are wired in these cases. More on this in the terminal strip management tutorial. As you probably guessed, if a side of the terminal is blank, it means that nothing is connected there. If you prefer, you could go to the terminal list, select the terminal strip, go to the terminal strip tools tab and choose show NC for not connected to have that shown on the terminal strip layout instead. If instead of showing wire numbers in these columns, you'd rather show other information, you can go to the terminal list and use these two columns. This does not physically change the Y number, it only allows you to write or reference some other information in the terminal strip layout. The layout can be split by selecting it, going to the terminal strip tools tab and choosing split terminal strip layout view, even across different pages if you wish, though I'll just put it on the same page for now. Deleting one of the splits will undo the split and consolidate the layout. We can flip the left and right sides of the terminal strip layout by once again going to the terminal strip tools tab and selecting flip terminal strip. Under the drawing tab we can use the rotate and scale features. The terminal list view can be opened by double clicking on the terminal strip layout. Terminal lists can be inserted onto the schematics by selecting Insert List Block. Choose the sheet you want to insert it onto, click OK and drop it onto the schematics. The list can also be split in the same way that we split the terminal strip layout. If you've purchased the advanced license, you can generate panel layouts such as these. Now for a useful trick to speed up populating your backplate layout. By default, a terminal strip is a group of terminals and can also include terminal strip accessories such as end stops and separators. Something you may not expect is that terminal strips can also contain other components such as circuit breakers and relays. How's this useful? Well, for example, suppose you are aiming for a layout such as this, which consists of some terminals, a safety relay, some more terminals and so on. Conventionally, to achieve this layout, each set of terminals would have to belong to its own terminal strip, which may not be what you want and it would be time consuming. Instead, have all these terminals belong to the same terminal strip and add the safety relays to the terminal strip. This is how to add any component to your terminal strip. Select the project in the tree view, go to the show tab and select components and while holding the control key, select terminal strips. This shows all the components and terminal strips for the project in the tree view. Now select the components you want to add to a terminal strip, right click and choose cut. Then right click on the terminal strip you want to add the components to and choose paste. Nothing seems to have changed but the components have indeed been added to the terminal strip. Let's open the terminal strip view and here are our safety relays. Move them to where you want them in the terminal strip. 
Now in the backplate layout, when we lay out this terminal strip, the safety relays are included. Furthermore, it's also possible for a terminal strip to consist only of components, without having any terminals whatsoever, such as this row of control relays that I've already assigned to a virtual terminal strip, so I can lay them out all at once. In conclusion to this tutorial, we invite you to view the other tutorials dealing with terminals. Introduction to terminals, stacked terminals, terminal strip management which covers bridging, connectivity and various organizing tools, and distribution terminals which are customized for power distribution.